This was a huge project and gave you lots to learn about mixing UIKit and SpriteKit, texture atlases, scene transitions, and of course, destructible terrain, while also giving you another real world project under your belt. This project should also have shown you how you can bring skills together to make something bigger and better. Core graphics and physics combined to make destructible terrain, and really, it wasn't that hard. Now remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, add code and UI to track the player score across levels. Then make the game end after one player has won three times. Second, add auto layout rules for the UI components in our storyboard, allowing them to remain positioned neatly regardless of which iPad size is used. And third, use the physics world's gravity to add random wins to each level, making sure to add a label telling players the direction and strength.